Yeah, the descent's pretty weird. But, uh, the climb itself, it uh, starts out on a fairly big ledge and uh, there's no real belay position as such. Uh, nice little corner for, uh, for the first five or six meters. Going up that's kind of fun. It's got a, a balancey bit inside it, but uh, no big problems, like I say. Tons of pro, lots of bolts and things. that goes up into the first belay ledge. The first belay ledge is just great. It's like a place where you should have a picnic. You know, everybody should go up there and take a pack lunch. And the, next, the next section is the uh, crux. You actually have to lean out quite a lot and uh, really balance out over a void. Second move, which is uh, up a bit of a jug hall, and uh, that gets you access into the roof. The roof's just an easy traverse, and then it goes out to the front face. On the front face, 
there again, it's, it's a beautiful move. You've come from underneath the roof, there's these great jugs, you can just slap your hand into them, you know that it's safe as houses. And uh, you can take up this stance on the red for the last final wall and uh, just bomb that. The only thing that's a bit of a worry is this rusty old bong that's sitting in there. And uh, I mean, I didn't even want, I don't even like clipping it, it's so rusty and horrible. And that bolt, the last bolt is way over the top. I don't know who put it there, someone with arms about eight feet long, but uh, when you get up to that last bit and crank up, you do the mantle and you think the bolt is way over there. <laughs> it's like you've got to hook it with a wire.